All right, well, this video is to do kind of a tour of our newly purchased vintage Roadrunner. It's a 12 foot travel trailer. It's got one propane tank on the front. The previous owners did some work on the front and rear the bumper and the tow hitch, painted it white. Uh, needs new tires, we know that much. And the windows probably all need to be sealed up. We have our little electric hookup right here. Clearly this plug has seen better days. 110 volts. It's a vent for the stove. There's a little propane stove inside. And that's where our fresh water tank would get filled. But there's no bathrooms. There's no actual sewage outlets. And I'm, I'm guessing that this is where the gray water comes out. I didn't see a holding tank for that. The tow hitch, we towed it home from Sugarland and it made it home okay. It was a bitch to get into the driveway. So one of the windows was previously removed to hold a window air conditioning unit. And that air conditioning unit was not operational, so the AC unit was taken out. We got to replace the glass in this window right here. The Owner's going to give us the new light to replace where there used to be a light here. Light here. Looks worse than it is. It's actually the trim that's all misshapen. Another window. Door. Obviously the screen has seen better days. Door doesn't latch properly. Wait, we're going to have to replace that latching mechanism. We're definitely going to have to replace this rusty old little thing that holds the door open. This window needs a screen, and we got to figure out how to open that little window up there. That's for the upstairs bunk. So, so we know it's newer than 1968 due to the date on this seal, and we know it's a Roadrunner. It's got the original paperwork inside. So inside, it smells a little musty. We got all the windows open now. Let's try and air it out. I'm not gonna step. This couch turns into a bed. We're going to reupholster that, clearly. A lot of this wood's going to get torn out, replaced. Right over here on this side, it's a little cubby. It's also, that's the fresh water tank down there. Instead of having the traditional dinette, we actually have these tables that mechanisms a little bit. Fold down. One for each side, and you know, a little bit of damage there, but we can fix that up. And there's another table just like it on this side here. Cabinets above. One open. That one's closed because the thing that holds it open is needing to be replaced, but it's a very simple little piece. Should be very easy to find. The previous owners tested the interior lights and assured us that they were working, but we're going to have to give the entire electrical system a look-see. Curtain rods, no curtains. And here's the kitchen. We got a sink. Sink looks, looks pretty good. That's from the uh, propane lamp. A little bit of the, the bag fell down, I think, in transit. But we're going to replace that with an LED light. But we're going to keep this cool looking little switch here. But disconnected from the propane. That seems like a fire hazard to me. And this three burner stove and an oven. And that cool retro turquoise. And this, which needs some refinishing, is an ice box. Not a refrigerator, it's an ice box, which is in its own way a little bit better than a refrigerator. No use of power to keep it cold. Got a drawer on the side here. Some counter space. Not a lot, but you never get a lot of counter space in campers this size. It's approximately 12 feet long on the inside. Some more cabinets up here. There's an electrical outlet. So forth. We're going to do some rewiring for sure. And the back. Usually there's a bunk bed here. The bunk has obviously been removed, but that's advantageous as well. It gives us the opportunity to build a brand new loft bed for ourselves up here with that little window. 
And this is where they ha put a twin size mattress, which we're just going to chuck the mattress. And that's some ugly foam insulation that's going to be totally removed and replaced. I got another one of those little cubbies right here. Storage. Some signs of prior water damage, mostly from the windows. You can see above the windows, it's pretty good. Below the windows, not so good. The roof doesn't leak. You can see the wood up here looks pretty good. The wood inside the cabinets looks pretty good. The fan vent, the fan, it's a vent, no fan. We're going to replace this with one that has a fan. It's needs cleaning out, but it looks like it doesn't really have too much. There's some little issues on the corners around here that we're going to have to address. Uh, that's, that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, and there's a nice closet, floor to ceiling, right there. And there's a Roadrunner L&M tra Trailer Manufacturer Company warranty. I'm pretty sure the warranty is expired at this point. Uh, not so clean looking, but that's a couple pieces of plywood to replace all that. That's nothing. Unfortunately, we didn't secure the closet door on the way home, and a little bit of the corner fell off, but we still got that. And we're going to refinish this and put it over a new furnace. We're not going to use the original furnace because that seems like asking for trouble. And that's about it. This is our new Roadrunner. And we're going to try and get her up to snuff and take her everywhere.